Ah, video games. Love them or hate them, you gotta love them. Throughout the history of the profession of video gaming, certain things have remained constant and consistent, while other things have gone batshit bananas. For example, there's always been a couple things. A game, a console, and a controller. And then you controlling the controller to control the console, which is controlling the and game. Then you controlling that and some controller people to control debate your whether or not movement. that the game <laughs> controls some the console. The console control the game. <laughs> if you're playing, like but what if all of that got flipped around directly onto its ass? Yeah, that's a little teaser for the rest of the video. So don't click the X, please. Don't. Believe now, as we all saw on the major news networks, as soon as the frames per second capabilities were announced for the Xbox Scarlet, we're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. You and millions of others went ahead and said, Xbox, go ahead, commit suicide, please. And all those Xboxes marched to their doom and leaped disk drive first into a giant bonfire of death and carnage and fire and burning and, and in flames. And fighting for survival and just rotting away. And unfortunately, nearby the bonfire, a master chief was being crucified to death. This, although largely interpreted as a sign of rebellion and anger and horrific and barbarism and was and merely just a sign of excitement from the gaming community. Never mind that Master Chief cosplayer, he died doing what he loved to do. And as those Xbox Ones burned in that bonfire, forming the ultimate red ring of death, we couldn't help but gaze into the fire and think back, reminisce about all the good times we had with the Xbox One what it brought to the table. Now, because I am confident that every Xbox One on the planet was burned after we all saw Phil Spencer's tiny head with his ass shitting grin, I took it upon myself to document the history of the Xbox One, to chisel its name into the, the walls of E3. When we think back on the incredible exclusives on the Xbox One, or its minimal square based interface or its box shape. One thing stands above the rest as the greatest aspect of the console. I am talking, of course, about the Kinect. Xbox, pause. Xbox play. Xbox pause. Hey guys. What are you doing, Seth? Fuck. What? Oh, theory of everything. What did you do to the movie? So sad. I made it stop. We Why figured you, you were going to watch it with us. We are talking about? I love this scene. We're already like 35 minutes into this movie. This is the best scene in the film. I wouldn't even miss this. And you guys were watching it without me. You noticed so what the movie was deploying. after you paused it. You paused it first and then recognized it as a film. I wanted to see what the scene was. Yeah, we told you when we were going to start I, watching the movie. If it's playing, it's, I'm lost. You said, I'm going to go into the bathroom and I'm not going to come out. Don't call for me. And we yeah. didn't. And now you're... How do we make the movie go? Make it go. Yeah, the shower was running the whole time you were in there, but you're still completely dry. Mm. Can we watch it, please? It can. Yeah, just say... What do you say? I don't know. What do you say? I don't know. We're watching it you on your, your thing. No, Jesus no, no. Christ! You just start, just start it. Just say Xbox Play. What? You're supposed to say Xbox Play. Xbox Play. Xbox Play. It's my voice only. What? Why would you... Because I don't want anybody hacking... Why would you prompt us to say it? I don't want anybody hacking into my Xbox. Can you say it louder, please? Can you make it play? I could, but you guys have been so mean. Jesus. Could you please say Xbox Play? Jack? Me? Say that. No, say just, it. Just please. say please. Just say please so that he'll say it. <laughs> is there like a. Where's the. Isn't there like a controller or something? No, no. I've shut them all off. I've taken all the batteries. I've thrown them away. Okay, why? Because I love the connection. I love voice commands. I think it's really cool. Xbox Play.
Xbox snarling no. work. God damn it. Play Xbox. What games are you All you have to do is say please. please. All you have to do is say please. 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 Please tell the Xbox to play. Xbox play. Whatever. It's working. Still pause. Can you? Yeah, it's still pause. Oh. I thought it was a slow nope. shot. I need to get closer. Can you hold these? Yeah, sure. You should try that. Xbox Play. Probably gotta get closer. Yeah. Xbox Play. Fucking Xbox. Xbox Play. And you threw out the controllers? The Kinect was, as we all know, a camera that you could attach to your Xbox that would allow you to play video games with your entire gross, dang, stinky, slimy body. Not to mention the highly touted voice commands. Hokey okay, Pacera. Sorry? In my last video, I discussed the legacy left behind in the PlayStation 4's wake. A giant wake, much like a tsunami, that crushed all of the world. And at its epicenter was the share button. In this video, I intend on addressing the legacy left behind of the direct competitor of the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One. Now, despite the fact that the Xbox One's Kinect is a, quote, dead accessory that is dead and has been shot to death, there is no doubt that it is the greatest innovation that the Xbox One had. We've been experimenting with something here. I'd like you to meet a boy called Milo. A boy called Milo. So what are we doing? Thank you very much. I, ho I hope you agree. This is a landmark in computer entertainment. The reason I say it's the greatest innovation is because Microsoft made the game-changing decision to tap into the childlike desire that all of us had when we were playing video games, which could be boiled down to one simple phrase. Ain't this a controller too? Just using my fingers to play? I, I, have, a, I have this whole body at your disposal, Microsoft Xbox. Use my body, take, take from me. Jeez. And we all also collectively said, and yes, let's just go ahead and say it together. God, I wish someone was filming me. I wish somebody was filming me right now. Some brief history, Microsoft actually introduced the Kinect for the Xbox 360 back in 2010, where it was a ginormous success. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, oh, no. Captain, Captain Hook. Hook! Whoa. The Kinect on the Xbox 360 was actually initially referred to as Project Natal, which is a very fitting name because it was really the rebirth of video games as we know it. Please welcome Steven Spielberg. Don shared with me the Natal experience, and the gamer in me went out of my mind. Enemy IC-130, above. I've been playing games for decades. And when it was announced that the Kinect would be a mandatory attachment to the Xbox One, people were much like Miles Davis, Jazzed. We think you have to use Kinect now with, with your with Xbox One. Or no. Your, no. 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 That, that would, I mean, they can't do that. But that <laughs> the Xbox One will always come with Kinect. the Kinect was a required part of the package for the Xbox One at launch, and sure, uh, Xbox kind of completely ditched the Kinect altogether later on and left all those people to rot in hell, but conveniently, I didn't see any of those people complaining about that talk about making their own video games. Whoa. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've been more than satisfied playing Kinect Sports Rivals and beat explosion. I don't need anything else, thanks very much. 
So almost immediately into the life of the Xbox One began the steady decline of popularity for the Kinect. People stopped buying it because it was the tech that nobody was ready for. People would eventually complain about the sheer amount of photons being blasted into their bodies while they played video games. About 13 billionths of a second that it takes individual photons to bounce off of you to create unprecedented accuracy and precision. Which is a fair point, although I would argue it was entirely worth it so that you could play Connect Running Game or even Connect Boat Game or Connect Car Game. The eventual failure of the Connect was tragic but inevitable. People don't necessarily like quality things. Sometimes they prefer trash and shit and shit in the trash. Although the next Xbox will probably not have a Kinect, uh, I've actually been working on setting up a protest uh, for when it's announced, when the next Xbox is announced. I was figuring we could all go to Taco Mac and then go over to a GameStop or something and uh, like smash uh, um, all of the like games in there to like protest. And with the Xbox Scarlet just approaching over the horizon, well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna be real excited to play my games frame by frame looking at every single one of them. All 300 every second. It's gonna be a magical thing. Okay, Pacera, 